few seconds for uh, some more people to join. Lovely day today here in Bristol. everybody and welcome to this uh, episode of uh, Hilti Live. My name is Mike and I'll be your uh, digital account manager this afternoon and I'm excited to show you some of the latest innovations we have in the steel construction trade. Um, as with all the uh, Hilti Live um, videos we'll be uh, posting live on Facebook to show you our latest innovations just like you would do with your account manager either on site or, uh, or in the yard. Now due to current restrictions I'm broadcasting from my back garden uh, so please do bear with me if there are any uh, interruptions or disrupt disruptions. Uh, we'll try to uh, muddle through as best as possible. Um, as I mentioned, we're live on Facebook, so the uh, video is in interactive, so someone will be uh, monitoring the uh, comments box, so uh, please do ask questions and they'll endeavour to get back to you. Uh, if you're watching this on recording, then uh, do, do continue to ask your questions. We will continue, continue to uh, monitor the uh, comments box and we'll look back to get, to you, get back to you ASAP. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be showing you the uh, latest in innovations in our steel construction trade. Uh, specifically for the structural base plate application. Uh, so it's one of our biggest and most safety critical applications in the steel construction trade. I'll be showing you a uh, HST2 anchor. I'll be installing that using a virtually dust-free drilling method with a VC20 TECD drill bit and the, uh, the TE30. Uh, I'll then be setting the tool using the SIW6 AT822 and the F Active Torque module. Um, so if you do work in the steel construction trade, or indeed if you find yourself fastening uh, structural base plates down to concrete uh, using three bolts, then uh, this could be the episode for you. Right then, so let's fire on. So, like I said, I'm going to be installing a HST2 anchor today, uh, which is our latest innov innovation in our through bolt portfolio. It has approvals for cracked and uncracked concrete. Now it's the younger brother of the HST3 anchor, uh, which many of you will know is our ultimate uh, through bolt with uh, seismic approvals for uh, heavy duty loading applications but that's not to overlook the HST2 it's a very good anchor and can hold its own weight and then some so this M12 has a uh, design resistance in tension of 8 kilonewtons in cracked concrete now why that's important is that Eurocode 4 stipulates that all concrete based materials going forwards will need to be deemed to be cracked uh, so essentially if you do then fasten down uh, structural base plates to concrete using a through bolt then the HST2 could be the ideal solution for you. As I said I'm going to be uh, using a virtually dust free drilling method using the VC20 and a TECD hollow drill bit. So the VC20 is our compact M class vacuum, it's sturdy, it's got a power outlet on the front which uh, just reduces the need for another uh, a lead on site, just uh, reducing trip hazards. Uh, again I'm going to be using the TECD hollow drill bit which when used in conjunction with a M-Class vac allows for virtually dust-free drilling uh, and removes the need to have a blowout pump on site as well to clean the holes. So just keeping you as safe and productive on site as possible. One of the other benefits of the uh, TECD as well is like from the, is the, from the removal of the dust in the hole and the reduction of the friction, it gives a very high drilling performance, which is comparable to our market leading TEC X drill bit. So it's a fantastic bit of kit. To drill the hole, I'm going to be using a TE30 A36, which is our ultimate class SDS Plus combi hammer. Uh, it's lightweight at uh, 5.1 kilos, but really packs a punch with a 3.6 joule single impact, uh, which uh, basically means it gives it a uh, hammer drilling capacity of up to 28 millimeters. So it's the ideal tool for uh, structural base plate applications. Uh, the tool benefits from active torque control, ATC, which essentially means that if the uh, drill bit snags in the hole and the drill tries to kick out, it will cut out, uh, thus reducing the risk of injury to your arm and your wrists, just keeping your workers as safe as possible on site. It's a bit smaller on the tool, but you may well be able to see it. It also benefits from AVR, which means the motor is designed as such, so some of the uh, hammering and chiseling impact energy from the tool is actually absorbed back into the motor rather than being transferred into the worker's arm. Again, keeping you as safe and as productive as, as possible on site. So that gives this tool a triaxial vibration value of 10.6 uh, meters per second squared, which in real money means that you can use the tool for 27 minutes for continuous drilling at any one time and an hour and 47 minutes in total with breaks. So again, just keeping your workers as safe and as productive as possible on site. The uh, tool itself is on the 36 volt platform and this is our 36 volt 
5.2 amp hour battery. Now with all the batteries on the 36 volt and the 22 volt platform, it benefits from having the same uh, glass reinforced plastic housing as our tools. So it gives very good drop protection, although I would not encourage you to drop this on site. It also has CPC, which hopefully you can see there, which means that all the individual cells in the uh, battery are managed independently which prevents overcharge and deep discharge, both of which can significantly reduce battery life. So keeps battery working as efficiently as possible for its lifespan. Uh, it's a good point for me to mention that all the tools that I'm showing you today are covered by our two year no cost service, uh, which means that if uh, in the unlikely event this battery did fail, uh, within two years we would repair or replace it free of charge to yourself and all of the tools that i'm showing you today can also be taken out on our industry leading fleet management uh, service which gives you uh, loads of really good benefits such as uh, repairs for the lifetime of the contract uh, loan tools if you ha are having your tool repaired and theft protection so if you wanted to find out any more about those two services please do reach out to your local account manager okay then i'm just going to get everything all set up and we'll draw a hole And there you go, so hopefully you can see that the TE30 made light work of that M12 hole and it really won't break a sweat up to M28 so making it the ideal tool for uh, for this application. Hopefully as well you would have noticed the lack of dust coming out of that hole. As I mentioned the TECD and the VC20 have done their job keep keeping me safe on site you have to trust me but that hole is as clean as a whistle so we do not need to use a blowout pump. So now we're good to go and to set the tool, set the anchor using our handy little setting tool the Hilti HSSC it's a good little setting tool, put it in the end of your STS and then you can just bang in the uh, through bolts to the correct embedment, just reducing the need to have a separate hammer on site, keeping you as productive as possible. So I'll just uh, swap the inserts over. My PPE back on. Can't be too safe. There you go, job's good. So if you had to set a serial application of those anchors, a thousand of those, this can be really, really handy for uh, banging those into the correct embedment. Right then, now that's into the correct embedment, of course we're on to the next phase of the application, which is tightening the anchor, which, um, you know, of course, when you're setting thousands of these and you need to check that they're set to the correct torque in such a safety critical application as a structural base plate, it can be quite time consuming. So enter the Hilti Active Torque Module. So this is one of our latest innovations in our anchoring portfolio and it's one of my favorite. Essentially, you can uh, scan the QR code on a, on a Hilti anchor box, a variety of our anchors, which is an ever expanding list. You can also input it manually on the back of the tool and it will set the torque wrench to the correct torque value, ensuring that you can uh, tighten the bolt to the correct uh, to the correct torque without over or under tightening. So again, just giving you that productivity gain on site, but also giving you that kind of peace of mind and traceability in uh, this safety critical application. So to do to do the uh, the bolt up as well, I'm going to be using the SIW8 and the SIW680822, which is our power compact class impact wrench. It has a torque of 213 newton meters in gear three, so it's perfect for light to medium duty anchoring applications. Now, if you do have heavy duty uh, requirements, and we do also have the SIW9 in our portfolio, 
which has uh, new meters up to 800. But for today, we're doing up an M12, so this will be a fantastic tool for the job. This is on the 22 volt platform, and obviously this battery still benefits from all the uh, lovely stuff that the 36 volt does, such as the reinforced housing and uh, and the CPC. Right then, so I am going to scan the QR code on this box. Set this to the correct tool. There you go, so hopefully you heard that beep. See it flash green. Hopefully you'll be able to see that that is now set to HST to M12. Right, then. so I'll just lock that in, get my PPE back on, and we'll tighten up this anchor. Well then, that's our anchor set to the correct torque. So, now you'd be able to furnish a digital report that would show the main contractor that you've actually set the anchors to the correct torque using the HST2, and that's that. So that's the anchors all set. We did crack the concrete a little bit there, so that was a bit unfortunate, but uh, hopefully that's uh, demonstrated the application quite well for you guys. Just to recap, we installed a HST2 anchor using a uh, virtually dust-free drilling method with the uh, TEA36. Uh, the TE30A36. We used that with the TECD drill bit and the VC20, uh, which allowed us to do the uh, to ins insert the anchor without any need for the blow up pump. We then tightened it using the SIW6 AT22 and the active torque module. Now, if you want to see any of these tools up close and personal, uh, please do reach out to your local account manager. I'd be happy to, uh, to, to set up a demonstration on site where it's safe. Now, if uh, through bolts aren't your preferred method for uh, setting anchors, then don't worry, we've got you covered. We've also got the Hus H3 in our portfolio, which is our ultimate class uh, concrete screw, which has uh, comparable loads to our through bolts. Fantastic anchor. If indeed the chemical injection is your preferred method, then we've got an extensive resin portfolio. We have the uh, HY170 with approvals for, for, uh, for uh, masonry and for concrete. We also have the HY200, which is our specifiable, reliable, fast cure resin. See that on a lot of drawings. If indeed fast cure is really the name of the game, we have the uh, the, H the, uh, the uh, HVU2 capsules, uh, which allow for almost immediate loading on site. And then if deep injection, slow cure is the name of the game, we also have the uh, RE500 resin, uh, which is our ultimate class resin. And all of those resins and capsules can be used with our has you rods, which uh, many of you will have noticed last year, we cleaned up our rod portfolio, and we remo removed hit V, removed has you, and uh, we tidied it up. And now we just have this, sorry, we removed has, we tidied it up, and now it's just the has you rods. And these are available in uh, 5.8, 8.8 carbon steel and hot dip galv, and also in stainless. And that's that guys. Well, thank you very much for uh, tuning in today. Hopefully that was uh, a good demonstration of uh, some of the latest innovations in steel construction. As I mentioned, uh, the, the, the video is completely interactive. So if you do still have some questions, please do uh, continue to do so. We will get back to you. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Um, and do remember to stay tuned. The wonderful Annie will be back next month and she'll be showcasing some of our latest additions to the, uh, the building construction trade. And uh, so hopefully there'll be some fantastic new tools for her to show you. Again, I've been Mike Harrachan. Thank you very much for uh, joining me today and I'll see you on the other side. Cheers then. Bye-bye.